We are here as Paint the Change in Stavanger, Norway to participate in the New Art Street Art Festival. We produce street art campaigns all over the world to raise awareness for social issues. My name is John Reed. I'm part of the team at New York Festival and I'm also one of the team members for New York Aberdeen. New York Festival is an international street art festival that brings a host of international talent to Stavanger every year. It started off originally as a music festival that incorporated a little bit of street art and graffiti and the kind of street art side sort of grew uh, a bit more in 2007 when the festival was kind of became slightly more established. Stavanger is beautiful, it's a great setting for street art and we were really happy to be able to meet everybody here, to be part of this community and to learn from what other people have been doing and also to share our work uh, and our ethos around the power of street art to uh, act as a, as a means to stimulate social action, social change and to raise issues of social justice. <laughs> One of the big things we do at New York Festival and at New York Aberdeen is uh, public walking tours and these are a great way for people to find out more about the street art. We really try to give people as much information as we can about the production of the murals, about the history of the artworks, the history of street art, uh, the topics and issues that the artworks might be trying to tackle and really just give people the, the power to make their own minds up about whether or not they like it. Here at New York, we also produced a new mural by the Argentinian street artist Hero. She did a work featuring two hands reaching across a border, which was her way of responding to the refugee crisis. And she also produced a separate installation about female empowerment in one of the tunnels at the venue here. When you start to see art, the artists and art, artwork that's tackling the issues in our societies, whether it's austerity, homelessness, you know, people using food banks, the refugee crisis, the migrant crisis, when you start to, to try and educate people and tackle those issues, not everyone's going to get it, but you're starting a conversation, and hopefully those conversations lead to bigger conversations that can hopefully lead to change. I think the change all started when we wanted to raise awareness about a religious minority in Iran, the Baha'is, who have been been persecuted by the government. We started with a few murals in Harlem and then attention got so great that we decided to go global. Since then we've adapted our learnings from that experience and we've started doing more and more campaigns. In the last uh, couple of months we've worked with communities in London, in Hackney and Tower Hamlets and we're soon to be launching an education program across Europe. To find out more check us out at Paint the Change Global on Instagram.